So, who do we got? We got our team Hunter with Kirith playing some survival. We got Demigods playing some assassination. We got ourselves IHDH. Oh my god, jumble. Uh, you're like a word soup. We got Kissy in here. Kissy, Kissy, Kissy. And we got Subzy. Subscuity. Subzy? I guess Subzy. We got ourselves Alcazar playing on Team Alliance. My man, we got Certified hanging out as Assassination with them big old green daggers. We got Christina Wolfhard as well as Zikari. Who's going up first? Is that Zikari's Druid? Oh no, dude. No fucking way. Not a death match today? Boomy on top of it? Alrighty, man. You gotta go up versus Demigod's X, man. If you could beat Demigod's X with Boomy, by God, this will be a clickbait video. It'll be the best. Demigod Zex versus Zakati. Thorns coming out. Zakati's gonna pop into those Thorns and Barsin. So Demi's actually gonna wait out of that. Get it dotted out by Zakati. So Zakati is gonna be a little bit kind of hard here with the lack of lack of uh, Thorns, lack of Bark skin. It's gonna get a Moonfire onto the Rogue. Not letting the Rogue reach stealth at least. That's gonna be at least good for him. Oh my god, my uh my mouse just fucked up. Hold on. Can I unplug it and plug it back in? Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I think there was an update with uh, Synapse software, maybe? Maybe we need to restart my PC. It's been a while. Zakati is actually going up versus Demigods. Forcing out a quicker shadow. Zakati drop it to about half health. With Incarnation up and running. Still has a lot of damage to work for. It's going to get Malleys up and running. That's going to be a Maledict onto him, though, with a safe trick of procking. Give the shot coming out. It's going to trick it out of it. Thorns are actually taking down Demi. And Zakati actually trying to poke out out of Bear from to get some damage. Not going to happen. Uh, it's going to be Demi taking him out. The Maledict really destroyed him. That's going to be cheap shot onto Alcazar with a Garo. Demi no longer with the trinket. Alcazar looking to end him right now without a trinket. Blind coming out. Is he going to get out of it? No! Alcazar decided you know what actually alcazar probably has relentless and human trinket probably can't even get out of it doesn't want to burn bubble or bob knows that next stun onto demigods he will have him Demi needs to get back in there though it's gonna be a kidney shot onto alcazar with a garo at least he broke out of it with a trinket demigods does have himself an evasion alcazar does he have judgment to war is that gonna be a star it's gonna be a slow onto Demi. gonna run up to him judgment secure the kill alcazar taking him out very well done I love good castles, so sexy, dude. Castles are fun. What's up, Luke? How you doing, my man? It's gonna be Kissy up next. Kissy trying to plant one onto Alcazar. Harsh coming down with his shield avengers. Alcazar trying to make that shield a powerful shield. Gonna go for the minute long wings. Trying to let the shield pop into Kissy's face. He's gonna go up in the air trying to rain down on his parade. Alcazar, they got himself covered in the bubble. Bubble boy, bubble breaks. And Alcazar still got a bit of range damage onto Kissy from below. That's gonna be Blade Dance into a big old meta. Alcazar needs to be aware of the situation. It's gonna be a big old I beam. Bubbles this one as he sees Kissy gonna go for big damage. It's gonna go for flash. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna burn bubble. The next classes are hunters. They might have a dispel for Bob. That could be actually really bad. But also, Demon Hunter definitely has a dispel. So Akaza had to go for a bubble here just to heal himself up to full. He's really good generally at rotating cooldowns. The day he bubbled. We'll see if that plays into his hands in the future. He's going to get that hidden freedom running. Why get a slow to kiss it? Execute Sun is coming down off of that with full wings coming in. That's going to be safe to trick it. Going to heal while those wings are up and running. Next up is going to be Subzy. I was thinking it was going to be Word Soup over there, but that's going to be Stun onto Alcazar. Subzy is trying to get some big damage with his pet. That's going to be big Beastmaster Hunter damage as Alcazar trying to approach him, trying to see if he can get set up going. That's going to be Freezing Trap on one side. Alcazar's not going to run at it. Try to see if he may maybe carefully skirt around Subzy. Subzy's going to get himself a massive heal right now by getting re empowered again. Trying to get a big setup going. Malik onto Alcazar. No healing available for Alc for quite a bit of time. Shield Avengers coming down, which is going to be massive defense. So Subzy's too close to that shield. That's going to be, uh, I think, Execute Sentence on Subzy. Is going to get the Dark Bass. That's going to. Subzy doesn't have a lot of health now. Natural Shield coming out. That's going to be Word Soup up next. Word Soup versus Alcazar. Trying to see if he can get a setup as a survival hunter. Walking up next to him. Trying to get the Mongoose Bites in a stun coming down. Trick it forced out of sub, uh, Ward. And that's going to be actually lots of defensives for UHDHY. Hid? Hid? What do I even call you, dude? What do I even call you? We'll call you Joe. Joe versus Alcazar. Joe trying to get this pet up and running. Gustav in there. We could have called yourself Gustav. 
You got your pet, Gustav. What's wrong with your name? I can still try to land a few heals. Joe's though is not letting him off the hook for now. That's gonna be a big turtle shell as Joe's just trying to commit, trying to get some big damage to Alka's or medic damage in his face. Alka's are not sure if you should heal or not. As Joe is just not letting go anywhere, man. He just wants to stand next to him. Just wanna observe the guy. Making sure to get his pet a pet manned up there. Just so his pet maintains some sort of a healing as Akaza builds resources off of the pet. It's gonna let himself a flash a letter to him. Akaza gonna get a slow onto Joe. Joe's just gonna waddle around. Another trap coming down. Akaza are finally away from Joe for just a bit of time. And I just saw Demi. He actually, like the way he died in the ground is actually the weirdest thing ever. I thought, what is that? Is like a piece of dirt? No, it's Joe. <laughs> no, it's Demi, not Joe. Stunt coming on. Onto Joe. He's going to get a lot of defensive goal and not calling anybody dirt. But as I was saying, it was like, look awkward. Stunt coming on to Akaza. Trick inside of it. That's going to be shield events available for this bad boy. It's going to pop the shield event. It's Joe needs to be careful. He's going to gain some distance from the paladin as he's trying to make his way over to Joe. He's going to see if he can get that shield to pop next to him. He's going to get short wings rolling. Freezing trap coming in. Doesn't have a way out of it. Akaza just has a sitter. Oh, shield disrupted the heal for Joe. That was a very unfortunate shield. Time down and gets slammed down. But Akaza are after 3% dampening roll on him. We're not even that long into this duel. And Kiritz is up next. He has stunned up. It's going to be stunned up to Joe. No, Akaza. Akaza is going to get a bop and running. That's going to be Malenik on Akaza. Can't heal. No, actually. What just happened? Did Bob prevent Mali? What? That was weird. He didn't even take damage. He did, or did he heal through the Mali as soon as it hit him? Was that what happened? Uh, Kazar trying not to get rooted. Not gonna get rooted with a hand of freedom. Kira though is trying to get some spot shots off to the side. Let's see if he was able to do anything off of this. So far, every single other hunter fell to the might of Alcazar. As Alcazar does gain bubble back. He has bubble if he needs so that's gonna be big wings coming out getting resources onto Kira. Kira's gonna get a massive heal right now rolling while he's got it. Trying to get some distance from Alcazar. Not gonna get it to... He's the trap on Akazar, not gonna bubble. You know, he's waiting for his time, and he's biding his time. It's gonna be a manic damage for Kirath into a tar trap onto Akazar. Akazar is trying to get whatever AoE damage, whatever damage he can, into Sirath right now. Kirath, Sirath, don't even know how to call him. That's gonna be some DOS up for Sirath, trying to see if he can go counter offensive. Shield Avengers back up and running for Akazar. It feels like he just lost Shield Avengers, but he's back up and running again. Stun coming in onto Alk right now. That's going to be a rude, but that's going to be a hand of freedom to prevent it. Stun coming in onto Sea Rats. Is he going to be able to do much judgment to follow? Tar is going to be Turtle Shell as a shield for Alcazar Pop. Sea Rats actually a turtle at the right time. Is he aware that that's just how lucky he is? Throwing a trap into or throwing a grenade into Alcazar's face. Throwing down the trap onto a corner. Not really sure if that trap is going to work that well, but there it is. Maybe Akazar will hug the corner. Getting resources off of the pet. He's doing just fine. Has a bubbly fear when he needs to. Throwing a judgment at Sea Gonna chase after him. Freezing trap to follow them. Not gonna bubble. He decided, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I still can win this duel. That's gonna be Camo for Sea As he's playing to win this one. He's trying to see if he can make the play here. Akazar gonna be able to snag the eyes. Is he gonna be able to see it? Is Sea Wrath gonna have anything for him? Does get a root onto him. Akazar gonna get a hand of freedom up and running. Has the pet to hit for it now. Sea is recovering health little by little. Is he gonna he's gonna have a trigger for the next setup? Snack coming on to Akazar right now. Does he have a resource? No, he doesn't have a trigger or nothing. He's gonna be mad again and set up on him right now. Hodge coming to Sea Immediate trinket. Alakazar popping in wings into a brazen trap. It's here rather just trying to force him to use bubble. He's like, I'm gonna get you one day, my man. I'm gonna get you, old man. Takazar is just gonna keep it cool like a cucumber. Like a very, very holy cucumber with wings. My god. Smite his foes. That's gonna be Sirath trying to throw down traps. Akaza hand off him in it a little bit early. Still has the pet to get resources off of. That's some catch can plays right there. Gonna utilize the pet because he can build the holy power for it. Can get maybe some cooldowns back as he's getting finishers into the pet. Or Hodge. So maybe he might be able to get Hodge back a little bit faster. Akaza has a full game to play out. Bubble, Bob available. Shield of, no, Bob coming out very soon. Shield of Vengeance still up and running if he ever needs to. Wings are gonna be available very soon. Has the one minute wings if he needs to. That's gonna be a slow. That's gonna be a root onto him. No, actually can still reach Sierra from that distance. Gonna get a hand of freedom towards the end of it. Try to cycle as much damage as Sierra doing all the holy damage. The Crusade is coming. Stun coming out to Akaza. Trick us out of a Shield of Vengeance to cover him. Does Sierra have anything? Freeze the trap coming in. Alcazar is going to sit it again. See what's trying to force out that bubble right now. Alcazar is going to sit it. That's going to be a camel for Sierra. Doesn't want to give up, man. This is what I like in this, dude. That's what I like. 25% dampen. You're going to make it harder for Alcazar. Over time, is going to be proactive. Picking up the eye right now. See Sierra throwing a judgment at him. Back to get him resources with the pet. 
T-Rex couldn't get a full reheal, so Akka still is keeping him low right now. Needs to get a second Hodge. That's gonna be extra defense on Sirius. Oh my god, taking so much wings damage. That's gonna be mad to fall into Akka's. Sirius is trying to for his life to survive. Akka's are mounting up right now. That's gonna be a turtle shell for Sirius. Akka is gonna go for heals while he's got him. Has a shield advantage coming up in 12 seconds. Tricky, probably somewhere out there available, maybe. On a stun at least. Freezing trap to fall. Not gonna bubble this. Sirius Manic Banners are not letting him off the hook anymore. Akaza needs to get him on a stun. Seriously, gonna have a trigger for it. Does get a camo for a moment. Oh my god, Akaza, no eyes available. No one eye spawned. He is gonna have to go for it now. See, Wrath, you have an opportunity to get yourself a reset. I would run into one of the rooms, man. Make Akaza search for you. I wouldn't stay this close. There's no way Akaza. Oh, Akaza is actually having trouble seeing. He doesn't see him, although seeing a hunter in camo is a little bit hard. I do agree. That's gonna be Seriously, catching him up back to full health. Sirith really giving Akazar a full fight here into a freezing trap to follow. Akazar now has bubble, pop, and shield advantage. That's how long this duel has been going on for. But that's going to be Akazar trying to get some pot shots again. Just trying to take his time recovering. This way Sirith I think could get in, but Akazar wants to draw him in. This is like a game of cat and mouse right now. Who is going to make the move first? Now that Sirith wants to go in, now that Akazar wants to go in. Both of these guys benefit from waiting for a bit. For Sirith we got turtle shell. For Akazar, reheals. Akaza find himself low. That's gonna be maybe Hand of Freedom. Does get a Hand of Freedom out of the Paladin and trying to kite him some more. Could be seeing the Freezing Trap maybe around the corner. That's gonna be Tar Trap. No, gonna get out of it. Stuck coming out. It's gonna get an instant trick out of Sea Wrath. Could go for a reheal right now. Freezing Trap coming in. Akaza is gonna sit it. Has shields, has bubbles, has everything. You could bank out of it pretty easily. Alcazar, they're getting hit with a Mada. Can't really heal through that for a bit. It's gonna wait out for a while. Gonna maybe land a flashlight or two. That's gonna be Sirith actually finally pulling his pet back so Akaza doesn't have anything to hit. But the pet is over there actually keeping Akaza's health, health kind of low, so it's not that bad of an idea. That's gonna be grenades flying at Akaza and can't be out in the open for too long. That's gonna be free damage for Sirith. Sending more eagles flying at Al. Flash of lights coming in for Akaza right now. Back to back flash of lights. That's gonna be hard. Does Akaza have it? Has the setup, man. This was we've been waiting for this whole time. Big to back stun and damage coming out onto Sirith. Sirith is gonna break out of it. And it's gonna be head of freedom for Akaza onto that route. Sirith and Akaza are just trying to fight it out. Both of them get cooldowns up and running. Both of them are just trying to get as much value out of it. Sirith health is getting very low. That's gonna be a troll and shell. Akaza could maybe get frozen off of this manic bandage. Gonna heal through as much as it can. 49% dampening. Sierra doesn't have a lot to work with. Reason job. Bubble coming out. Akazar has been waiting in this. He decided, you know what? I need to make the kill happen here. And kill I will get from this orc. Down he goes after a long ass duel. Akazar goes for a pretty expressive 1v5. Well done, well done. Except I will give him a chance. I will say demigods didn't really have a lot of health to work with when you did duel him. So demigods, it's not like he played bad. Akazar just played really fucking good. Alright, boys.